Portable Life 101. Number one, that our educational system is not designed to teach us the secrets of life. It's no secret. In school, we learn how to do everything except how to live. At college age, you can tell who's best at taking tests and going to school, but you can't tell who the best people are. That worries the hell out of me. You know who wrote to be or not to be? That is the question. But we don't know the answer. The essence of our effort is to see that every child has a chance and must be assured each an equal opportunity, not to become equal, but to become different, to realize whatever unique potential of body and mind and spirit he or she can possess. It seems that everywhere around 18 gives or taking 10 years, something to us decides that's, that's it. I've had it. I'm done. I know all I need to know and I'm not learning anymore. Life was meant to be lived and curiosity must be kept alive. One must never, for whatever reason, turn his back on life. Consensment, commencement does not just mean, does not just mean grad, graduation. Commencement, it means new beginning. Where you're learning, like your watch, in a private pocket. If you do not pull it out and strike it merely to show that you have one, wear your learning like your watch in a private pocket. And do not pull it out and strike it merely just to show that you have one. Unraveling life's mysteries and discovering life's secrets, which are in fact neither mysteries or secretive. Many of these courages and determinations found only to have self-motivated pursuit. Only the curious will learn and only the res resolute to overcome the obstacles to learning. The, the quest quotient has always excited me more than the intelligent quotient. Life is for doing. Things won are done. Joy souls lies in the doing. One of the greatest and the simplest tools for learning more and growing more is doing more. Look, I really don't want to wax philosophical. But I will say that if you are alive, you've got to flap your arms and legs and got to jump around a lot and you've got to make a lot of noise because life is very opposite. Life is the very opposite of death. Life is for learning. What a wonderful day we've had. We've had learned something. I've learned something too bad that we didn't learn it sooner. We could have gone to the movies instead. Life is for learning. Learning what? You name it. There's a lot to learn. Learning is not attained by chance. It must be sought out for an ardor and attended with a diligence. Some of us, from what we've learned earlier, turned in to be true. The earth is round. You want to have a friend to be a friend. To be a friend, you have to be a friend. Cleanliness is not an up, is is next to impossible. And some of it turn it around into false. Like Santa Claus, Tooth Fairies, Kansas is more fun than Oz. Life is far too important a thing ever to be talked about. When life seems truly unexcremental, when life seems truly unexcremental, we can moan and groan if we can. Ever the midst of anger and terror and confusion and pain, tell ourselves that there must be a lesson here someplace. Seek not, my soul, the life of immortals, but enjoy the full and the resources that are within thy reach. The good news is that we learn all that we need to know eventually. Good people are good because they come to wisdom through failure. The more we learn, the more we do. The more we do, the more we learn. But in this doing learning, it's not to forget one's most important lessons of all is enjoyment. How good a man's life is mere living. How fit to employ all of his heart and the soul and his senses forever in joy. Life is for enjoying. I was thrown out of college for cheating on my metaphysics exam, and I looked into the soul of the boy next to me, learned to enjoy the process of learning. I didn't fail 1,000 times. The light bulb was invented with 1,001 steps. The best thing that life can do is to present lessons to you, is to learning is up to you. With an eye made quiet by a power of harmony and the deeper power of joy we see in the life of things. Life is a classroom. Universities should be safe havens where ruthful examination realities will not be distorted by the aim to please or exhibited for the risk of dis pleasure. It should, be co it should be no surprise that if I think as life is for learning, I would view the process of life itself as a classroom. But it's not dull sitting in little neat rows listening to some puffed up professor drone on and on in a classroom. Life is, as I'm sure as you've noticed, experiential. It's the sense life is more of a workshop. Imagination is more important than knowledge. I like to think that workshop classrooms of life and perfectly arranged so that you learn it what you want to learn when you want to learn it. It's just the way you'd like to learn it. Life is playing a violin solo in public and learning the instrument as you go on. The classroom of life is not third grade where all you learn each day is neatly planned, including recess. What you choose to learn is dear mental and what you've what you what you've neatly planned included recess. What we choose to learn is fundamental to what we learn. A life is a single letter in an alphabet. It can be meaningless or it can be part of a great meaning. Experiment. Experience it is said as the best teacher, prove, providing, of course, we become the best students. The most important function of education of any level is to develop the personality of an individual, and the significance of his life is to mean and to himself and to others. The real teacher of life is you. You're the one who must decide for all things to come your way, what is true and what is not, what implies to you and what does not, what you learn now and what you promise yourself you'll learn later. We learn simply with exposing of living. Much that passes for our education is not education at all, but ritual. The fact is that we are being educated when we know at least. Who are you? Nobody can exactly like me. Sometimes I'm even having trouble.
trouble doing it myself. The discovery of that is you as are entirely your own, although the entire world is willing to help. It is unanswered question, but it lets us still believe in the dignity and importance of the question. It's an unanswered question. It doesn't take much inner listening to know that in there are many voices speaking, singing, shouting, and whispering. What the inner voice says will not disappoint the hoping soul. Those voices have information. All is useful. Some of you can use it by acting upon it. Some of you can... Use it by doing precisely the opposite. It's a matter of knowing whether or not you're going to voice on your inside and giving a voice to your inside. I thank you for the voices. Thank you, voices, your most sweet voices. I'm going to take a clear, unequivocal, ambiguous position on God, religion, reincarnation, atheism, agnosticism, and all that. My clear, ambiguous, and inev inevitable position is this. I'm clearly, unambiguously, unequivocally not taking a position. I have found the best way to give advice for your children is not to find what they want and then advise them to do it. I have found the best way to give advice for your children is to find out what they want and then advise them to do it. It's not that I don't have a point of view, but each of these is just the information in life. One on one works regardless of my own, anyone's point of view. There's a certain force like a pull of gravity, for you need a breathing and desire of Hagen Dost that affects all the regardless of beliefs. Life one on one concerns itself that you belief proof issues, itself with those belief proof issues. The most incomprehensible thing about the world is that it is comprehensible. I like to introduce a portion of life I can call the gap. The gap is an area which I put in many often conflicting beliefs from where you have what's the big force behind it and all and how it does the big force interact with the human beings. Jean-Paul Sartre arriving in heaven. It's not what I expected. God, what did you expect? Sartre, nothing. What I believe is giving people the freedom to believe whatever they choose to believe. I love God, and when you get to know Him, you'll find that He is living and He's a living doll. Personally, I think that all old is enough set aside of source history and tapping and trapping uh, certain techniques is asking a simple question. Do they work? Do they produce the desired result? And do they get what you want and need? My religion consists of a hum humble admiration of the illumination of superior spirit, which reveals himself in the slight details we are able to perceive with our frail and feeble mind. It works with you. Fine. Use it. It's yours. It's the only thing that does work for you. Let it go and try another thing that may. We don't receive wisdom. We must discover the ourselves after a journey that no one can take us for or spare us there is more going on than our senses perceive sooner or later every one of us breathes an atom that has breathed before but an atom that you can think of who has lived before us michelangelo a george washington or moses sooner or later everyone breathes an atom that has been breathed before by anyone who you can think of who has lived before us michelangelo george washington or moses Unfortunately, our senses are limited. Therefore, the view of the world is limited. The important things of science is not much to obtain a new fact to discover new ways of thinking about them. There are more empty spaces in this book that you are holding than in the book. The atoms of the book to give the illusion of a solid ink of solid paper. There are more empty space in the book that you're holding than the book. The atoms of the book give the illusion of solid ink and solid paper. They're not. It's just an illusion. If the electricity and the electron clouds were switched off even in the instant, this book would crumble into an atomic dust. An amount of dust would not even be visible to the naked eye. This book would appear to disappear proof, to be disappear proof. To, it would just disappear, poof. In atomic physics, we can never speak of na nature without at the same time speaking of ourselves. An atom, and thus all matter, is mostly empty space. Encyclopedia Britannica. Contrary to the perception and belief that there is more nothing than something, even in the things that appear that you have something than nothing, everything is more always in motion, even in the things that don't appear to have moved in millions of years. The perception of things are solid and stationary is an illusion. The perception that things are solid and stationary is an illusion. Things have been, always have been and will always be moving for millions of years. Life, it turns out, is not struggle. It's a wiggle. Any sufficiencies advance technologies is indistinguishable from magic. When a child's pr primary memory of communication from his or her parents, then God's is no, don't stop that, should it mustn't shame, bad, bad, bad. What's a child being taught? He or she could do no good, just to alert to failure at every moment, and still will fail. The disappointment of let down failure is in short a child begins to believe that he or she is fundamentally not good enough, destined for failure, in a word unworthy. And only reason I always try to meet and mute how to know the parents better is because it helps me to forgive their children. If you think you're fooling people with your act of goodness and you think you aren't all that good, maybe the one thing you're fooling is yourself. The only good of knowledge is that the only evil is ignorance. The only good is knowledge and the only evil is ignorance. Rule number one, don't hurt yourself and don't hurt others. The ideas I stand are not mine. I borrowed them from Socrates. I swiped them from Chesterfield. I stole them from Jesus and I put them in a book. If you don't like the rules, whose would you use? Rule two, take care of yourself so that you can help others and take care of others. 
extraordinary to the rule. First leg and then head. Remove high heels and synthetically stockings before evacuation. Open the door and take out the recovery line and throw it away. Emergency instructions. Rule three. Use everything for the uplifting learning and growth. It's forbidden to steal towels. Please, if you are not a person to do such, it's please not to read notice. If you're taking an, S an, S an essay exam on geography, and the exam could be any of the countries in the world, study one country and know it well. Let's say you chose China. When it comes to time for that exam and a question of write 1,000 words in Nigeria to begin an essay, Nigeria is nothing like China, and proceed to write everything you know about China. And is that cheating? No, that's life. That's using everything for learning, uplifting, and growth. Experimentation is an active science. Experiment. Make your life an active science. As far as I can tell, the only thing that you can take charge of is the space between your, within your skin. That's everything, and especially everyone does not belong to what you can take charge of. The last of human freedoms is to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. The degree we do not have to charge our minds and bodies and emotions, we have to work and cut it out. We have to do what's really in the extra time of spending taking charge of others. The degree we do not charge of our minds, bodies, and emotions, we have our work cut out for us. Do we really have any extra time to spend taking charge of others? We have, we have to put all of our time into our own. To be oneself and unafraid whether right or wrong is more admirable than easy cowardice and surrender to conformity. To observe, don't do anything. Simply notice the inner process, the voice is demanding you do this. Move there, scratch wherever to rise a screaming crescendo. Don't do anything, continue to observe. You do not need to leave your room, remain sitting at your stable and listen. Do not even listen, simply wait. Do not even wait. Just quit staring at solitary. The world will freely offer itself to you to be unmasked. It has no choice. It will roll to ecstasy at your feet. What is the inner demand? What is your inner voice? Or voices that insist that you do this? I ran away from that. Would it sometimes follow your voices automatically? Maybe be the un unconsciously the answer to these questions lying the observation. If you resist evil, as soon as it's gone, you'll fold. Open your mind. Face with the choice between changing one's mind and proving that there's no need to do so. Almost everyone gets busy on the proof. Strengthen your body. You're obviously suffering from delusions of, inad of adequacy. Fortify your emotions. If you do not wish to prone to anger, do not feed the habit. Give nothing, which may tend to be an increase. And at first, keep quiet and count the days when you were not angry. I use the angry every day, that every other day next to two, and every day next to three. And if you succeed passing 30 days, sacrifice the gods and the thanksgiving. Try new things. Life is a series of inspired follies. The difficulty is to find them to do. Never lose a chance. It doesn't come every day. The underlying question is trying new things. Would I hurt myself physically, not emotionally, not mentally? If I did this, not we, not could be hurt ourselves, almost anything, but would. If the answer is no, then do it. Would we have to do this to be forever curiously testing new opinions and courting new impressions? Acceptance is such an important commodity, such a called it the first law of personal growth and acceptance is simply seeing something the way it is and saying, that's the way it is, and that's the way it is. Acceptance is not approval, consent, permission, authorization, sanction, concurrence, agreement, compliance, sympathetic, endorsement, confirmation, support, ratification, assistance, advocation, backing, maintaining, authenticating, reinforcing, cultivating, encouraging, furthering, promoting, aiding, abetting, and even linking what is. Is. Acceptance is not. Acceptance is saying it is what it is, and what it is is what it is. Phil officers, philosoph philosophers from Gertrude Stein, a rose is a rose is a rose, to Popeye, I am what I am, have understood acceptance. Until we truly accept everything, we cannot see clearly what we'll always be looking through. The filters of must should be ought to's, have to's, and, and prejudices. Education is the ability to listen to almost anything without losing your temper or your self-confidence. When you're in a state of non-acceptance, it's difficult to learn. A clenched fist cannot receive a gift, and a clenched psych grasps tightly against the reality of what must not be accepted cannot easily receive a lesson. No matter how cynical you get, it is impossible to keep up. Whatever we find true about the peoples and things around us is also true about ourselves. When we see men in a contrary character, we should turn inwards and examine ourselves. When we evaluate anything outside of ourselves, what we are doing is looking into a mirror. The mirror reflects back to us the information about ourselves. A bid him look into the lives of men as though into a mirror, and form others to take an example for himself. It may also be like to see in a mirror that you may always be comfortable with it, but if you want to learn about yourself, be more quickly. Looking yourself in a mirror, people of things is an invaluable tool. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. Relationships truly take place inside ourselves. To have a relationship with anyone or anything we encounter, what we do is inside of ourselves about the people or things we choose to be in a relationship with. We can be one of the greatest learning tools that we can use. The best mirror is an old friend. All that good advice have been giving others or would gladly give to them, as they say the intelligence to ask, finally has a home. You. There's no human problem which you cannot be solved if people would simply do as I advise. 
There is no human problem which could not be solved if people would simply do as I advise. When something happens to you, you can explore it and probably see that you had something to do with its taking place. You either created it, promoted it, or at the very least, allowed it. Crystal, do you realize that most people use 2% of their mind's potential? Roseanne, that much, huh? True accountability has three parts. First, acknowledge, first knowledge and that you had something to do with what happened. Second, explore your response options. Third, take a corrective action. When you make a mistake, admit it. And if you don't, others, if, and if you don't, you only make matters worse. This is a lifetime of goodbyes, and in our times we will say goodbye to cherished people, things, and ideas. Eventually, our goodbyes of life itself with our death. Learn to say goodbye, goodbye. Learn to say a good goodbye. When we're emotionally injured takes place, the body begins to process as a natural and healing physical wound. Let this process happen. Trust the nature. Trust nature will do the healing and know that the pain will pass, and when it passes, you will be stronger, happier, more sensitive, and aware. There are three distinct yet overlapping phases of recovery. We go through each phase no matter what we have on the loss. Only difference is the duration of the intensity of feeling. The first stage of shock, denial, numbness. The second stage is fear, anger, depression. Third stage is understanding, acceptance, and moving on. In the darkest hour, the soul is replenished and given strength to continue and endure. Contrary to popular belief, it's not attachment that causes loss. Attachment feels fine. It's detachment that hurts. Let it go. I don't want to cheese. I just want to get out of the. Tra I just want to get it out of the. I just want to get out of the trap. I don't want to cheese. I just want to get out of the trap. Record each day in some way the lessons you've learned, good things that you've done, good happens to you, insights that you have, anything that seems important for your interest. Record each day. Keep a diary. Some of your diary will keep you. Keep a diary and someday your diary will keep you. What is light? Whatever is enforceable in the force that responds to human interaction, that there is meant by light. We penetrate into matters. Nature does not show us any unsolated basic building blocks, but rather appears as a complicated web of relations between the various parts of a whole. Using the light is very easy. You simply ask that the light that you can imagine is as clear as pure white light be sent somewhere from the highest good of all concern that is that's using the light i'm going to turn on the light and dwell two people in the room looking at each other and wondering why on earth were we afraid of the dark how do we know the light worked sometimes the situation changes sometimes our attitudes are about the situation changes and sometimes both man is his own star and the soul that can render an honest and perfect man commands all light all influences all fate Things may not change the way we want them to change, but light is not a bellhop in the sky. It will not do what you want to expense of others or yourself. You have all that you've your desires fulfilled would be a curse. To have all, all of your desires would be a curse. When the gods choose to punish us, they merely answer our prayers. If you listen carefully, you'll hear a sense, a sense of a voice inside of yourself. It's the voice that you master teacher. I'll use the voice to help you imagine and feeling and sensation of any combination of these and maybe the loudest voice in there, but it's often the most consistent, patient, persistent one from which your inner teacher sounds like. It's the one that just said it sounds like this. Always keep a window in the attic open, not just cracked open. Your master teacher knows all that you need to learn, the perfect timing of your learning it and the ideal of your teaching it to you. So don't create a ma so don't create a master teacher that's already been done discover your master teacher if you have built castles in the air and you work not be lost there is where they should be now put the foundations under them castles in the air the master teacher is not only the master teacher in your life but far from it the master teacher disguises themselves as some of the most potentially powerful learning tools in our lives mistakes guilt and resentment fear pain disease stubbornness addiction depression death emergencies all of these things most people would if they could eliminate a problem is a chance for you to do your best mistakes obviously show us the need of improving without mistakes how would we know what we had to work on mistakes are the portals of discovery in hollywood mistakes are common that's what's wonderful darlings now let's get ready to take two Give yourself as many retakes as it needs. The stars do it. Why not you? Pick yourself up and dust yourself off. Start over again. To avoid situations as much might make mistakes will be the biggest mistake of all. To avoid situations in which you might make a mistake is the biggest mistake of all. Aim for success, not perfection. Never give up your right to be wrong because then you'll lose the ability to learn things and move forward with your life. Remember that fear always lurks behind perfectionism. Confronting your fears and allowing yourself the right to be a human can paradoxically make you a far happier and more productive person. Guilt is anger directed at ourselves and what we did not do. Resentment is anger directed at others from which they did not do. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. The cure for guilt and resentment, forgiveness and preventative acceptance is the best reason to do good is loving. And to forget of this is the master teacher will be there. Just before you veer off course, asking, asking gently with the first tinge of guilt and resentment... Which would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Your answer will always be respected. Every great mistake has a halfway moment, a split second where you can be recalled and perhaps remedied. remedied.
The only difference between fear and excitement is that we label it. The two are pretty much the same psychological, emotional reaction. With fear, we put our negative spin on it. Oh no! With excitement, we give it our positive English. Oh boy! Don't be afraid to make a big step is one that ind indicated. You can't cross a chasm in two small jumps. If you want to learn about fears, whatever it is that you fear, doing the very next thing to do. Fear is not the wall. It's just an emotion. Move through the fear. Going, taking the next step after towards which the thing that you want and make it become an uncomfortable, then suddenly it'll be less uncomfortable. Everyone has talent. What is rare is the courage to follow the talent to the dark place where it leads. Pain, any pain, emotional, physical, mental, has a message. Once you get the pain's message and follow its advice, the pain goes away. If I had a formula for bypassing trouble, I would not pass it round. Trouble creates a capacity to handle it. Just as fear is also excitement, stubbornness is also determination, and a simple matter of shifting from won't power to will power. The funny thing about life is if you refuse to accept anything but the best, you very often get it. In addiction of anything that has the more power over you than do, when you stop drinking, you have to deal with the marvelous personalities that started you drinking in the first place. The old word of addiction was temptation. Lead us not into temptation, Jesus. My, my temptation is quite yeats. I can resist everything except temptation. Oscar Wilde. Blessed is the man that enter with temptation, to whom is tired and shall receive the crown of life. Once overcoming your addiction, you can now overcome all things. Impossible becomes impossible. A doable, doable. The unmanageable, manageable. Overcoming the addiction even eases the process of leasing an addiction life in the time of our death. Why come a temptation but the man is to meet and master the mate crouch beneath his foot, and so to the pedestal of triumph? Death is a friend, a joyful, freeing process. Death is a friend of ours, and he is not ready to entertain him, and he that is not ready to entertain him is not at home. Of course, one's belief about what happens after all is false in the gap. Is there's also, however, only three major beliefs about death in the entire gap. First, life is purely biological. Second, when you die, you go into heaven or hell. And third, or reincarnation. If you take time to explore your belief about what happens after death, you probably find it's not all that bad. One of the situations in which everybody seems to fear loneliness is death. In tones drenched with pity, people say in someone, he died alone. I've never understood this point of view. Who wants to have died and be polite at the same time? Suicide is always an option, of course. The option is sometimes what makes life bearable, knowing we don't absolutely have to hear or being here a little more bearable. I do not, however, recommend suicide. Sometimes it's only after a painful process over that we can look back and see what we've learned from the situation. There's a certain things human beings are not permitted to know, like what we're doing. The simple solution of disappointment and depression is to get up, get moving, physically move, do, act, get going. Perhaps the most valuable result of all education is the ability to make yourself do the things that you have to do when you ought to be done. Whether you like it or not, it's the first lesson that you ought to be learned and however early a man's training begins it is probably the last lesson that he learns thoroughly is to do when people believe in one thing or do another they inventory they are starting to invite misery if you give yourself the name play the game when you believe in something don't follow with and you don't follow with your heart intellect and body then it hurts don't do that live your belief and let that belief go one must lose desires they are mighty stimulants to creativeness to love and to a long life one must not lose your desires Desires, they are your mighty stimulants to creative, to creativeness and to love and to live a long life. There's no emergencies, only emergencies considered each not a problem but a challenge rise to an occasion. Emerge and see. It's a chance for you to uh, rise to the occasion. When you don't have any money, the problem is food. When you have money, it's sex. When you have both, it's health. If everything is simple, Jake, then you're frightened to death. What is your purpose? Purpose of something that you discover. It's already there. It's already been there. You lived your life by it, perhaps without fully realizing it. It's your well, it's your bellwether. It's your personal inner divining. It tells you at any given moment whether you're living a life on purpose or not. My function in life was to render clear what was already blindingly conspicuous, conspicuous. The house, car, better body, career, money, wants, yes, even a romantic relationship, religion, spiritual path is simply a method or behavior to get something else, something inner, something experiential, security, fun, energy, satisfaction, love, knowledge of God and inner peace. You must find who you really are. Then you do what you need to do in order to have what you want. You can have anything, but you can't have everything you want. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you cannot do. Walter Begot. The history books and full people who say, I don't care if everybody thinks it's impossible. I think it's possible. I want it, and I'm going to get it, or do it, and they did. I just want to do God's will, and he's always allowed me to go into the mountain. I've always looked over, and I've always promised, and I've always seen the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Martin Luther King. The face spending time is precise and accurate one. We all have only much time as this time around. 
around, spend it well. To begin, too much accomplishes little. Who begins too much accomplishes little. In order to get what you want, it's very helpful to know what you want. And if you don't know where you want to go, you probably won't even get there. Pick battles, big enough to matter, small enough to win. The key is this is not what you want, but you want. Then ask the list of material things that you want. People often get lost of glamour. Look, things I can have do or that that make me look good. I'd rather have roses on my table than diamonds on my neck. Every human achievement from the Hoover Dam to the book that you hold in your hand began as a single thought. In the province of the mind, what one believes to be true either is true or becomes true. When thought and action are combined with result are powerful among the most powerful forces on earth. When thought and action combine and the results are powerful, I found power in the mysteries of thought. Successful achievement requires the use of coordination of three things, thoughts, feelings, and action. Thought sparks the process, getting it done. Feelings keeps the thoughts alive. Encourage more thoughts and get the body moving. Action is important to accomplish the physical task necessary for the achievement. To change one's life, start immediately. Do not flamboyantly. Do it flamboyantly. To change one's life, start immediately. Do it flamboyantly. No exceptions. Be bold. Commit and act. The great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. When you're so committed to something, know it's going to happen and act though you're going to happen. The action is a powerful affirmation. Whatever you want, you can do is dream you can. Begin. And boldness is genius. Power and magic in it. The word is one of the most precious things that you do is do not give it lightly once given everything within the power do not break it the broken word like a broken cup cannot hold very much never esteem anything as an advantage to you that will make you break your word or lose your self-respect never esteem anything as an advantage to you that will make you break your word or lose your self-respect how to keep agreements a few suggestions make only agreements you plan to keep make every agreement important keep an agreement you've made write agreements down communicate it once you've discovered a conflict I phoned my dad to tell him I've had stopped smoking he called me a quitter. The word discipline comes from two very nice words. Discipulus, meaning pupil, and discern, to learn. Discipline then to devotion and learning. For the very true beginning of the wisdom is the desire to discipline, and the care of discipline is love. I like to think of discipline not as forcing yourself to do without of austerity school, but keeping your attention focused on what you want. The eye sees the open heaven. The heart is intoxicated with bliss. Ever wonder what's so difficult about negative thoughts about your mind and your period over time? Ever berate yourself over being able to hold positive thoughts longer? There's no need for self-approach. The odds are stacked against us. The fact that we have any positive thoughts at all is something of a miracle. Beaver, G. Well, there's something wrong with just about everything, isn't there, Dad? Ward, just about, Beaver. Life literally contains negative thoughts. No big deal, really. Let them drift through your mind like leaves on a patio. There's no need to resist them. Hold them on and entertain them. I'm taking them. I'm, I'm talking about the thoughts here, not leaves. There's no need to resist them, hold on to them, or entertain them. I'm talking about the thoughts here, not the leaves. Nobody, as long as he moves about among the chaotic current of life, is without trouble. Nobody, as long as he moves about among the chaotic currents of life, is without trouble. What about is in your focus? Where's your big picture of things? Are you putting your attention? Are you focused on your goal? Can you have any number of positive negative thoughts along the way and probably will? The only reason I would take up jogging is so that I can hear heavy breathing again. Naturally, the more positive thoughts you have is the more positive you'll feel. The more you'll want to feel happy. Things about happy things, unending stream of happy thoughts. It's not, however, unnecessary to reach your goals. Motion and direction are. The last time I saw him, he was walking down lover's lane holding his own hand. We all visualize, if I was asking you to draw a circle, could you? The circle is a visual thing. You had to envision it. However, you saw the circle in your imagination, and that's how you'll see while visualizing. See golden days, fruitful and golden deeds, with the joys of love triumphing. What we think about, we become. If you think you can do things, you think you can't do things, you're right. Affirm means to make firm. Solid more reveal. Thoughts very solid to repeat it over and over again become more and more firm. They become feelings, behaviors, methods, experiences, and things. I'd love to see Christ come back to crush the spirit of hate and make men put down their guns. I'd also like just one more hit single. I'd just like one more hit single. Tiny Tim. Affirmations often become with what I am. I am happy. I am healthy. I am a wealthy person. I am joyful no matter what is happening around me. I am loving and kind. The words I am are potential words. Be careful what you hitch onto them. The things you're claiming of a way of reaching back and claiming you. Affirmation. Work into using them. The more you use them, the more they work. They can be used anywhere, anytime, while doing anything, almost anything. Affirmations of life is a spiritual act in which a man ceases to life unreflectingly and begins to devote himself to his life in reverence in order to raise to its true value. To affirm life is to deepen, to make into an inward and exalt with life to live. It's a good ideal to you and your ends to affirmations with this something better, highest good of concern. This is to something better. Tens come, tens of million come to 
when you merely ask for a million and then the highest good of concern assures the affirmation fulfilling in the way that best for everyone. The man is not idle because he's absorbed in thought. There's a visible labor that there's an invisible labor. The best comparison between effectiveness and efficiency is heard is this. Efficiency is getting the job done right. Effectiveness is getting the job done is getting the right job done. The best comparison between effectiveness and efficiency is I've heard is this. Efficiency is getting the job done right. Effectiveness is getting the right job done. It's no good running a pig farm badly for 30 years while saying, really, I was meant to be a ballet dancer. By the time pigs will be your style. By that time, pigs will be your style. People who excel in life are so-called winners don't just do twice as much as five times as much as hundred times as much as the average people. Winners have been shown only to do a few percent points more than everybody else. Be wiser than other people if you can, but do not tell them so. Here's the truth about making a plan. The plan itself never works. However, you do make a plan. The chances of getting what you want significantly increase. While one person hesitates because he feels inferior, the other is busy making mistakes and becoming superior. If you're not actively involved in getting what you want, you don't really want it. Decide what you want. Decide what you're willing to do in exchange for it. Establish your priorities and go to work. One thing's for sure. You'll spend your life doing something. The only question is, is do what you control of your time. Do you time, do, you, do, do what you want while controlling your time? Or does your time control you? For the things that you have to learn, before you can do them, we learn by doing them. Get off your butts. You said but, but I put a finger in the whole trouble. You said but, man, don't say but. The little word is but is the difference between success and failure. Henry Ford said, I'm going to invent the automobile. And Arthur T. Franklin said but. Sergeant Ernie Bilko, The Phil Silver Show. Do it. Victory belongs to the most persevering. If you want to achieve more, declare your persons. Declare your reasons unreasonable. For excuses unexcusable. An idiom, I mean, leaped headlong into the sea, and thereby I became better acquainted with the surroundings and the quicksands and the rocks. I stayed upon the green shore and piped a lily silly pipe and took tea and comfortable advice. We all live within the comfort zone in the arena. Activities from we have done often enough to feel comfortable of doing it again. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Security does not exist in nature, nor do the children of men as a whole experience it. Avoiding danger is no safer than a long run than exposure. When we do something new, something different, we push against the parameters of our comfort zone. When we do new things, often we overcome the fear, guilt, unworthiness, hurt feelings, and anger of our comfort zone, and it expands. And we back off our honor and limitations and comfort zone shrinks. It's a dynamic living thing. Always expanding and contracting. We can fight in our strength without boasting of it. We respect that of others without fearing it. Do it. Feel the fear. Do it anyway. Physically move to accomplish those things. Choose to learn to love it all. A coward dies a hundred deaths. A brave man only once. But then once is enough, isn't it? How long will it take to get you what you want? How much work is enough? When you have what it wants, was it enough? Until then, wasn't it? Until then, it wasn't. Let us then. How long will it take you to get what you want? How much work is enough? When you have what you want, was it enough? Until then, it wasn't. Let us then be up and doing with a heart of fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learning to labor and to wait. To use your goals and aspirations of small talk over dinner dissipates their energy. Have to meet like minds and discuss challenges and triumphs over mastering your life. That's that's power, splendor, and esteem. I think and think of months and years. Ninety-nine times the conclusion is false. The hundredth time, I'm right. The support you can gather from good friends, groups, and a master teacher is formidable. The encouragement you can give them in the terms of, yes, even master teachers need a little encouragement, is substantial. A friend is a gift you give yourself. You are worthy of all the good things that come your way. How do I know? If you weren't worthy, they wouldn't come your way. I'm open, and I am open to receive with every breath I breathe. I am open to receive with every breath I breathe. When you think that you've done all the joy that you can tolerate, you've only reached your limit, not joys. Gladness of heart is the life of a man, and joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. Every watch anyone have a temper tantrum, or go out and about and unfairly in the world treated her, or cry over the loss of a love that didn't really like anyway? Ever watch a fit of jealousy, pettiness, and vindictiveness? Grow up. Replacing a negative memory with a positive one heals it. I don't have a warm personal enemy left. They've all died off. I miss them terribly because they've helped define me. Health is more than just the lack of illness. Health is aliveness, energy, joy. Health is the state about which medicine has nothing to say. Health is not heavy. Health is light work. If one thing I'm certain, the body is not a measure of healing. Peace is measuring. Forgiveness means forgiving in favor of giving. Of course, God will forgive me. That's his business. After the forgiving of the transgression of judgment, there's only one thing to do. 
Forget them. Whatever protection you think you may gain from remembering past grievances is far less important than the balm of forgetting. Education is what survives when you once you've learned it has been forgotten. Education is what survives when what you've learned has been forgotten. Never forget what you've learned. The childhood is over. Your childhood is over. Your parents did their best what they could and what they knew. They gave the greatest gift of all, life. But you don't have to... Live and have it like your parents. What feels better is to learn to love them. My mother had a great deal of trouble with me, but I think she enjoyed it. Laugh out loud, often. Laughter is inner jogging. Crying like laughing is a marvelous natural release. People feel so good after a cry. I wonder why it's such a taboo. Tears, idle tears, I know what they mean. Tears from the depth of some divine despair. Rise in the heart and gather to the eyes. In looking happy autumn fields. And thinking of the days that are no more. Wealth is health, happiness, abundance, prosperity, riches, loving, caring, sharing, learning, knowing what you want, opportunity, enjoying, and balance. I'm an experienced man. I've been around. Well, all right. I've not been around, but I've been nearby. Unlike money, wealth is not just what you have. Wealth is what you can do and what you can do without. To live content with small means. To seek elegance rather than luxury. Refinement rather than fashion. To be worthy, not respect... To be worthy, not respectable, and wealthy, not rich. To study hard, think quietly, talk gently, act frankly. To listen to the stars and birds, to the bays of sages. Open heart to a bear of cheerfulness, and to do bravely, await occasions. Hurry never. In a word, to let spiritual unbiting and unconscious grow up through the common. This is to me a symphony. We have so many conflicting beliefs about money in our culture. Some of the uplifting, some of down pushing. It's a little wonder that the ways people feel about money is simply confused. From birth to age 18, a girl needs good parents. From 18 to 35, she needs good looks from 35 to 55 she needs good personality from 55 up she needs cash if you want more money here's how to get it reduce the number of limited beliefs that you have about money increase the positive beliefs you hold and do what it takes to get money lack of money is the root of all evil money is simply a symbol of energy I use money so that as an author I don't have to carry books with me to trade them for what I want for whatever it is that I want many times I've been down the last piece of a fat back and I'd say should we eat render us down for soap the Uncle Jeb would say render it down God would provide food for us folks but we gotta do our own washing learn to sacrifice I think you'd better off sacrificing greed lust hurt judgments demands spoiledness envy jealousy vindictiveness you don't need them anymore so sacrifice them away you don't don't go to piano bars where young unemployed actors get up and sing. Definitely don't be a young unemployed actor who gets up and sings. The idea of life is to take, 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 learn, 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 learn. Needs to balance that the idea of life is also giving and teaching. Receiving and giving, learning and teaching. The two parts of single flow like breathing and receiving and breathing out giving. Who cannot take this place without the other? You can never take this one place without the other. Life is something like a trumpet. If you don't put anything in, you won't get anything out. We seem the students of these people who know more than what we do. Doers of those who just just about much as we do and the teachers of those who know less than what we do. Life is the process of doing, learning, enjoying, and teaching. Honest criticism is hard to take, particularly from a relative or a friend or an acquaintance or a stranger. The learning, doing, teaching happens almost every life in every area of life. And all three things happen simultaneously. The child we are teaching to read and write is the same moment teaching us innocence and wonder. The Sea of Galilee has the outlet. It gets to give. The gather, the gatherers and the riches of which may be poor for them again to fertilize the Jordan's plain. But the Dead Sea with all the same waters makes horror for the Dead Sea has no outlet. It gets to keep. When the server is ready, the service appears. Boy, teach me what you know, Jim, Reverend Jim. That would take hours, Terry. Ah, oh, what the heck. We've all got a little Obi-Wan Kenobi in us. Gratitude comes from the root from which gratis means pleasing. There's a grateful, then you are pleased. And when the thing comes from the gratitude, in other words, in order you feel pleased to be grateful. You are a member of the British royal family. We are never tired, and we, are, and we all love hospitals. The attitude of gratitude is the grateful feeling. The attitude of gratitude. Tomorrow's the most important thing in life. Comes into us as midnight very clean. It's perfect when I've arrived, and it puts itself into our hands. It's hopes to be learned something from yesterday. It takes a great strength to be happy. Happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family in another city. Happiness requires courage, stamina, persistence, fortitude, perser perseverance, bravery, boldness, valor, vigor, concentration, solidity, solidity, substance, backbone, grit, guts, moxie, nerve, pluck, resilience, spunk, tena tenacity, tolerance, willpower, chutzpah, and a good thesaurus. I hate quotations. If you think happiness is easy, think again. The theory of happiness is simple. So simple, in fact, that it can be stated in a parenthesis to be happy think happy thoughts in the middle of a not very long sentence the successful of implementation of that theory that's where the courage stamina etc come in rule one don't sweat the small stuff number two 
It's all small stuff. Don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. If you don't like what you're doing, you can always pick up your needle and move to another groove. Hurry up and be patient. The sooner you'll be patient, the easier life will be become. So be patient. Really, when you're patient, you can relax and enjoy the ride so quickly. Hurry up and be patient. Patience creates confidence, decisiveness, and a rational outlook, which eventually leads to success. So live now. We are here and it is now. Further than that, all knowledge is moonshine. There's nothing that you need to do to become worthy. You already are worthy. You don't even need to discover your worthiness. You can feel utterly worthless and still be worthy. She knows what is the best purpose of education, not to be frightened by the best, but to treat it as that of a daily life. If you want to think better about yourself and feel better about yourself, learn to improve your self-esteem. So much as a man worth as his self-esteem of himself. So much a man worth as his esteems himself. Increasing your self-esteem is easy. You simply do good things and remember that you did them. Oftentimes nothing profits more than self-esteem. Grounded and just and just well as managed. Make a list of all the good things that you do. Then review the list. Often life consists not of holding good cards but in playing those that you hold well. You might come to try another number of meditative and complimented techniques available, but you might just want to sit quietly and relax. This art of resting the mind and the power of dismissing from the care and worry probably one of the secrets of energy in our great men. Some people think that meditation takes away from the physical accomplishment, taking the extremes, of course, that's true. Most people, however, find that medication, meditation creates more time than it takes. The vision will become clear to keep aware that meditation in your mind can actually seem to give you more time than it takes to do it. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes, who looks outside when dream and dreams, and looks inside and awakes. One inside gleaning during a few minutes of meditation, meditation might save hours, perhaps days of unnecessary work, which might we mean when we say from purely practical point of view, meditation can make us more time than it takes. Men stumble over the truth more time and time, but the most pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing happened. If you want peace, stop fighting with your thoughts. When you're not against yourself and others, you're at peace. Peace. First keep your peace within yourself, and then you can also bring peace to others. How does one find a maintain a, the maintain balance? Vigilance, internal vigilance, internal vigilance is the price of freedom. Fortunate indeed is the man who takes exactly the right measure of himself and holds just the balance between what he can acquire and what he can use. Be it great or be it small, you are a master. You might as well be good at it. Its word burned like a lamp. His word burned like a lamp. Loving is an action. Love is a feeling. The difference between love and loving is the difference between fish and fishing. I like loving, the moving, growing, changing, active, dynamic interplay. Interplay between self and others, between self and self. Joe, never feel guilty about having warm human feelings towards anyone. Our loving is the work in progress. We are continuously refining it, honing it, adding to it, shaping it. This is what we think we are doing. We also know love is continuously refining, honing, adding to, and shaping us. People love is an emotion. Love is good sense. Loving starts with an individual, with we want sense and else's to make a whole, and to know that we're not giving ourselves the loving we need. Love starts as with the individual. When we want loving from someone else to make us whole, we need... We, we need to know that we are not giving ourselves the loving we need. A very purpose of existence is to reconcile the glowing opinion that we hold in ourselves with the appalling things that other people think about us. When we give ourselves the loving that we need and it takes no little time that we actually do, and our times with others tend to be joyful, graceful, playful, touching, and each movement complete. Man's main task in life is to give birth to himself, to become what he potentially is. Loving is the greatest teacher. We must trust the perfectionism and the creation so far to believe that whatever curiosity and order of things has awakened in our minds, the order of things can satisfy. Good. Take good care. School is still a session. Fred Sanford. Didn't you learn anything or didn't you learn anything being my son? What did you think about doing all this so far? Lamont Sanford. Yourself. Yeah, you learned something. Just to be yourself and enjoy. The Portable Life 101.